Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day or night. On today's episode, we'll talk about modern women and they don't understand their sexual market value. And the reason I, I'm doing an episode specifically talking about this is that you just see these profiles of especially older women and they just still have their laundry list of requirements and it's just not going to happen for them. And you know, I've said it over and over again about SMV. So we're going to go over that chart again, just for new people to the channel and uh, let's just get into it. So uh, first thing, we're going to start with a good profile today. Um, I'll have her picture in the next, uh, she has great pictures, but uh, this was, uh, we always start with a good profile today and let's just get into it. So she says about me, looking for a best friend who I'm wicked attracted to share life and adventures. Okay. I love music and travel. Now this is, we have seen this a lot, but again, it's not telling men that they're terrible. Now she continues. I, uh, I like uh, athletics, chilling with wine and cooking delicious food. Okay. She said again, cooking delicious food, not you cooking for me. So again, good thing here. Uh, trying to and learn, trying and learning new things. Fine. Need honest, direct and authentic communication communicator. I'm not perfect at saying the right thing to connect with you, but I'm working on it. And I want to be someone who also with someone who also tries. I'm not, I, sorry, I'm a consultant, but who cares? You're a winner. Oh ma'am, gentlemen, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, a, a modern woman who gets it. As a matter of fact, I don't know if she's a modern woman. She might just be a woman because she's like, I have a job, but who the hell cares about it? Exactly, we don't care, fantastic. Then she says, apparently I wear sunglasses a lot, which she does. She has a lot of uh, pictures with sunglasses on. So here is this lovely lady. I, she doesn't have her age. So, she, and her job, traveler to the moon, super fun and flirty, very attractive picture. She's kept in great shape. I, she's probably in her late forties, but looks amazing. I mean, you wouldn't, her skin is great I and mean, beautiful girl. Uh, here's the other picture she has. I mean, gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I, that would be absolutely no problem if I was, you know, across from her at, a, at drinking wine and that this was my girl, beautiful person. Um, it seems very friendly. And her final picture, again, she's smiling in all her pictures, just inviting person, uh, lo lovely. And let's, so let's give her a round of applause. There is someone who actually, I guess, does understand her sexual market value and knows like putting a big laundry list of things still at her age is going to get her you know, as Kevin Samuel said, alone. So uh, let's get into this chart though. So we've shown this multiple times on the channel. This is from Rola Tomasi, it's not mine. This shows sexual market value. If you're new to the channel as a woman, you're not gonna like what I'm about to tell you, but it's just the truth. And we speak truth in this channel. So women start their sex. You look down here as early as 15. We're not condoning uh, anyone doing anything with 15 year olds, but women are born with everything they need to secure the man they want. They peak at their sexual market in their 20s. You can say he, he actually has a 23. You could say it's somewhere between you know, 23, 27 years old. They're the most attractive they're gonna be in their life, usually. And so this is where really they wanna be securing commitment and finding the man of their dreams. Often though, that's not the case now, especially in modern society. They're having hot girl summer until their 30s. And this at 30 is often where, this is where men and women sexual market value is the same but men usually still aren't as attractive to women at that age, unless they're chads, super attractive because they, you know, men need to be made. The women look for different things in men. Let's just be honest. They do look for attractive, but of course they want it all. They want to also be intelligent and witty and have its, you know, shit together. Men do mature uh, slower than women. I'll, I'll absolutely agree with that. And so, you know, by their mid thirties, men are very attractive to women because they've, you know, they're making money doing their thing. And I've, I've told any gentleman watch my channel, you know, this is important. You want to be on your purpose in your twenties more than don't be participating in hot boy summer the entire time. You, you'll, the day will come when you'll be very attractive to those women that don't give you the time of day, uh, girls at the same age right now. Now you see, let's just look specifically at this part between 40 and 50. You see men's SMV is still quite high at 40 to 50 years old, but women's is very low. And this is where women just don't get it. <laughs> I, I mean, they, they can argue with this and say, this isn't true. Sure, that lady we just saw, yeah, she probably does get tons of matches still. And we're, but we're talking about, again, when we're talking about this, 
men can women control the sexual market they can choose who they want to be with but men control the relationship market so if you want marriage and kids and all these things then it's the woman who must sell herself to the man who the woman who must say i'm awesome here's why you should pick me here's why you should put babies in me because marriage right now for men ladies if you don't get it it's a terrible deal if you if you think it's such a great deal losing half your assets and all this stuff for especially the top tier men, it's a very bad deal. Now I know there's a, there are a certain section of guys, especially you know who are not in the in the tw top twenty percent, who you all are smashing. That yeah, they they gladly will get married because they just want a partner to have regular bedroom fun with. So that's a different type of thing. If you want the top tier men, ladies, you must fight for those men, and your market is low. So believe it or not, this is SMV. Um, a lady in her fifty, a, a woman in her fifties is not the same as a man in his fifties, and we'll talk about that. And we talked about it multiple times. Let's get into the profiles. So she is forty and says, "Looking for a needle in a haystack, a haystack." So wish me luck. So just talking about where she lives. Uh, me, professional, fit, intelligent, witty, and fun. You, handsome, smart, fit, funny, successful, and professional. <laughs> Again, so by the way, the second theme of today's show is not, is not just uh, SMV, I do admit, there's a ton of tropes that we've talked about, kind of archetypes of profiles, and we have, I kind of have a representation of all those different archetypes on today's show, so you'll see what I mean if you've watched uh, in most of my videos uh, for my loyal viewers, I really appreciate you. But uh, as we go, you'll be like, oh God, yeah, we've seen that before, we've seen that kind of thing before, it's, it's pretty funny. So anyway, so in this case, she has become the man she wanted to meet. So whenever someone says, uh, yeah, I want someone exactly like me, ma'am, that's not how men and women work. Men want fit, feminine, friendly women. Women want successful, they want very attractive men, but rugged usually, you know, it's just different things that men and women look for in a, in a partner. But women think doing these things is, you know, for example, I don't think it's mo very important to most men if their girlfriend or wife is witty but they like being witty. And also, this is a tough truth. Ladies, I'm sorry to tell you, you're not generally very funny. Nope. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've met a couple witty women, but generally, you're not all that witty. The jokes you make are kind of lame, and <laughs> I'm trying to be a dick, but it's just, it's the truth. Gentlemen, can you put in the comments? A lot of women who think they're funny, it's funny to other women maybe, but not to guys. So, uh, you know, anyway, we'll continue. Not looking for a one night stand or to be a third for you and your girlfriend. Save your ENM BS for someone else. Nope. Ma'am, once again, no one makes you be in some sort of poly relationship or whatever. People are allowed to ask. You're allowed to ask for the world here at 40 years old. Guys are allowed to ask, hey, I've already got a situation and looking for side P. It's this is, you know, it is 2023. This happens all the time. So get over yourself and, and also, this one night stand stuff, we all know what this means, gentlemen. Chad has come over and smashed her, and so she's like, now I'm not looking for one night stand. It is completely up to the woman if they get into a one night stand. We all know, all men will smash. There's no woman who's 40 years old doesn't know, oh, did this guy wanna smash me? I'm not sure. Yes, you do that already. So, putting this is stupid because who controls if they have a one night stand? It is the woman. Yeah, so stop putting this in the promo because guess who unless you're telling yourself just stop it all right we continue then she's gonna now it's fine the man shaming part of her profile we see it all the time gentlemen so your workout videos give me the ick f boys swipe left please or here's another idea that's gonna be very controversial you could shut the f up See, but you keep matching with F boys because you find them so highly attractive. I mean, like, I just, I just think, bruh. God. Again, this is like, this is like men putting in a problem. Of course, we would never do this, but like, you know, porn stars swipe left, but we're attracted to them. I mean, like, we don't want to marry them, but I mean, if there was a girl who looked, we'd be like, yeah, I'll, I'll smash. I mean, like, ladies, yeah, those are exciting guys. And also, an F boy is not gonna just be, oh yeah, I'm one. <laughs> it's, it's, you, can't, the, God, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. All right, she continues. Also super curious, does anyone swipe right on profiles with no photos or no bio? Yes, more man shaming. Yeah, ma'am, just swipe left and move on. Sure, there's bad profiles on both sides. I get, some men, you know, also are low 
They're lazy and those guys aren't getting action. I can tell you right now, you know who's losing with, if a woman has no photos or bad photos, guys still swipe, right? Because they want to smash. Girls, of course, are only swiping on 4.5%. Move on with your day. Okay, but now she's not done. Guys, are you ready? Mom to an 11 and 13 year old of whom I share custody. Great, you've got your two kids, but in all your requirements still at 40 years old, you want you want Chad, handsome, smart, fit, fun. yeah, you all want the same guys and you're all fighting for the same guys. Why would he pick you over a woman with no kids and who's 25? Because he can get that guy. Guy who's 40 years old. But the, you know, you have to date, and this is the this is the truth. You're gonna have to date a guy who's like 50 or 55 who will see you as a prize still, won't care that you have young kids, and also a guy who wants to deal with kids. You just they don't nope so don't get it now the final part she's got down there in her interest she's got yoga men don't care travel you all like travel and of course we know what that means i want you to take me places chad and then for the trillionth time shopping is not a hobby nope it's not a hobby it's not an interest it's spending money that's just <laughs> ladies this is why you're all in debt <laughs> you were in debt because you stupid you think shopping is a hobby all right let's move on she is 48 and says about me, open-minded, curious, always learning, bit nerdy, hardworking and lazy, night owl, not religious, politically in the middle, cautiously adventurous, low maintenance, budgeting, affectionate and passionate, you, someone alike. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> yeah, ma'am, here we go again. I've become the person I want to meet, and she thinks men and women are exactly identical. Ma'am, this is not how it works. That is just not, again, that is not how it works. You, you've become the person you want to meet, and men are not clones of women. I mean, and I don't know what the hell has happened to women that they think, gentlemen, in the comments, you're welcome. Do you want a clone of yourself? Do you want to date you? I don't want to date me. That's the last person I want to date is a clone of me. If you if you haven't gathered, I'm a pretty high energy person. I do not. We would bounce like two electrons bouncing off each other all the time. I don't want that. I want someone opposite of me, different than me, feminine. So I just women are. What the hell is? Uh, nope. Uh, <laughs> I just see this all the time. Women have become again. She's a single mom here at 48. Going I mean, here's my massive list of requirements. Still all the stuff I want. Just be like me. Be the exact same politics as me. That again. I I will admit when I was younger, I used to think the politics thing was so important. But I would say, geez, it get, get you're you're gonna have to bring something has to be less on your scale. You can't say everything is that important. But women do. They want it all. We've seen that chart already. They want it all. They want Superman to show up at almost 50, deal with her kids, and be a clone of her. It's just completely ridiculous. Let's continue. She says, "I." so she's 47, and says about me, just moved here from Texas, looking to get to know the city and meet new people. Okay. If we vibe on another level, then we do. Okay, sure. No friends with benefits. <laughs> Ladies, you're just, every time you put this, you're outing yourself. What has happened is you have let Chad come over and smash you, and then he put you in the friend zone, and because he's so attractive, he has got a, a, a harem of women, and then you're like, I don't want the next guy to do that. Well, is that you? Whose fault is that? Who did you let do that? It was him, and so that's on you, because you found him so attractive. You want basically the next Chad to come over and not do that to you, but that is on you. If you didn't secure commitment before you gave gave it up, whose fault is that? You. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now. You can swipe left if that's what you're looking for. Yes, let's do some man shaming. Fantastic. Now, here's the good part. I'm looking for a gentleman. Yep. <laughs> I want to, of course you all are. <laughs> Oh my God, who the hell cares? And then one more man shaming to get one more dig in there. Hats off. Nope. Yeah, okay, so now here's the good stuff. This is her pictures of this girl who's, who's talking about this woman who's talking about, gentlemen, take your hats off because you know, basically you're, you're hiding something. So 
she has a ton of makeup on in all her pictures, fake eyelashes, and a bunch of filters. <laughs> Ma'am, that's real rich. So, you know, guys, uh, you know, don't make sure you see if you have a full head of hair or not. Ma'am, you're also 47. A lot of guys have lost their hair, whatever the hell you're, because that's what, by the way, when they say hats off, they're talking about, they want to see if you have a full head of hair or not. Well, a lot of guys don't, so, you know, get over yourselves, but also, why are you allowed to have a bunch of filters on your face? I just want to see a little bit of the eyelash here. Like, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. So they, this is the trope of, you know, more hypocrisy. Like I'm allowed, women can, and you know, another thing, women forget, you guys get to wear tons of makeup and you, tons of all this other stuff you do to yourself. Men don't do any of this stuff. Don't put on makeup. So you get to hide behind all this and go like, we are so beautiful. Yeah, take all that makeup off. Let's see. And all these filters. I don't know. And by the way, if you are a man who watches my channel and you know, or you know anyone who uses filters in their profile pictures, stop that. Just no, we, we do not go to their level of using filters. Just be who you are and be natural and whatever. But that's just. The bitch is crazy. Is not super fit, I don't think. But you know, I'm not gonna get into that. It's hard to see the rest. She didn't have any of her whole body. Usually, when women. That's a good point, though. When women don't have a picture of their whole body, usually that means. That's a huge bitch. But okay, whatever. I'll man shaming. Great profile, lady. No. Nope. Not at all. Let's continue. She is 36 and says, "What I'm looking for. What's your drink of choice? A masculine man. <laughs> a Negroni." Sublato, I don't know what this word is. Sublato, in touch with his feminine energy. <laughs> what the hell is this? What do you mean? A, a masking man who's a some sort of drink with feminine, what? Is this some saying? I didn't know. Okay, she continues. With Prosecco in it, who's not afraid to be emotionally vulnerable. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Yeah, I'm gonna fight you, man, because this is just, first of all, you've gotten, and this is the trope of, I've watched way too many romantic comedies, and now I have created super chat in my head of the man I wanna meet, this, all this crap, feminine energy stuff. No, see, you don't want a beta feminine guy. You all, I, you get bored of him in three seconds. Absolutely, you're, there's no way you'd ever, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you'd be like, I'm not attracted to this guy. He's not dominant enough. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't take charge, all this stuff. And you're, what is your, I don't even know what she's getting at. More stupid poetry in your profile. Just, just fun and flirty. This is not fun. This is not flirty. And then the final point, by the way, we've talked about this a bunch of times. The red pill preaches this and it's completely true. Do not be too emotionally vulnerable with a woman. She will dry up and leave you. It is 100% true. Absolutely do not do that. So, uh, whatever, let's move on. She is 26 and a community manager, great, and says green flags I look for. Family oriented, for, oriented because she has kids, we'll see that in a moment, can hold a conversation and he has to cook. Why, why bring anything to the table uh, except her kids and her baggage and drama and uh, they don't even want to cook anymore you see tons of profiles the guy has to even the, so get this chad that i'm attracted to go to work provide for me and my three kids from another man and then cook for me you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up <laughs> Modern woman. ladies again you so she is young, but she's not super fit. And with her three kids and the, yeah, I need traditional outcomes, even though I'm not traditional, I've already have a bunch of stuff and you have to cook for me. Let's, let's continue. So then she says, I have three kids who are my world. The just <laughs> single mom nope. starter pack. <laughs> I'm 26 working property management. We already know that from your profile. You put that. And then she, of course she says, I love tattoos and I love to travel. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Yep. Give me the successful guy to deal with my three kids. And I'm, I'm, she's also a big girl. That's a huge bitch. And take me tr around the world, Chad. <laughs> no. The men do not have to do this for you, ma'am. You should be... A woman in your situation should be going to the gym, getting fit, and going, man, what, I mean, I'll be lucky to find, if I find any guy who was stepdad who's even a five, 
a, a, even someone attractive man, you'd be lucky. But no, the average man, they think they're settling. This is the, this is a huge problem. They're, and she still gets, the worst part about it, she still gets tons and tons of swipes. Tons of guys will still want to smash her. And of course she confuses that with they want to have a relationship with her, which they do not. Men generally do not want to date single moms because they don't have kids already. And she's three of them already. I mean, good Lord. Nope. But they don't, she doesn't get SMV. Her SMV is by, if you have kids and someone put it in the comments and I agree with them, it's, you know, it's, unless you pull it off differently, maybe the kid doesn't live you full time, but it's minus two or three. So she's already a, probably a five or a four. And then with two, three kids, I mean, she, ma'am, you're a one, a, a, a 300 pound dude wants to wipe you up. You should be just scooping that dude up, but they don't see it that way. Let's continue. And uh, I've talked about this show before, so I don't have a rest of her profile, but of course she has a picture of a horse. Then she says, I recently discovered that I prefer horses over people any day. Or here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f up. I've said this a million times. This is how horse people think. So uh, you, you do you, gentlemen. If you want to date someone with horses, I would run the other way. The, exactly. They'd rather be with their horse. You are a complete, you are the side chick to their horse. I, I promise. You're a winner. I promise. Like absolutely, they go and they want to hang out with their horse more than you. They really do. Let's continue. She is 47 and is in healthcare and says, quick facts, professional queen of hearts. Oh boy. Now, I know she was trying to be cute there, but just putting the word queen in your profile and also she capitalized the whole thing, just dumb. All right, she continues. Awarded coolest aunt more times than I can count. <sighs> oh my God, who the hell cares? God, yeah, what do, man, we don't know your nephew or niece. We don't care. This is not interesting. She continues. No kiddos, but I love other people's. Okay, that's sweet. Okay, Wordle champ. Nope. Awesome. Okay. Great. And then the reason I really put this in here was this next line. My most recent suitors seem to be under age seven and over 70. I'm looking to broaden that demographic. Now, what she means is this, gentlemen, if you're not seeing what I'm seeing here. So she's getting exactly what I have been saying, what's going on on the market for these women, especially these women between, you know, 40 and 50, uh, you know, 40, 55 years old. They still want young, attractive guys. They want guys their own age. Guys that have a, a doctor, because I guess she's a doctor, whatever she is. If a doctor her own age, it has, it has a, is dating women in his 20s. Okay, A. So she's getting hit on though by guys in their 60s and 70s thinking, okay, well, she's still kind of cute to me. So she's a prize. Of course, they don't make her tingle. So she's like, oh my God, gross. Okay. Now, who will smash her still are younger guys who are like, okay, I have the older woman fetish and or they've been priced out of the market. Girls, a, a guy who's 27, unless he's Chad, doesn't get girls who are 27 or very attractive. So he's like, well, okay, I'll date this older woman. Sure. And she's like, but I want something serious now. I'm ready to com have commitment. But those guys, of course, don't want to commit. They just are bedroom fun. And so she is frustrated. <laughs> Women at this age don't understand their sexual market, don't understand the sexual market, and don't are confused. Why won't, and then what do they do? They man shame guys in their 40s, the guys who've worked hard, who maybe didn't have a, bu a bunch of success now are 45, 50 years old have have made their money have made their mark and now are getting the rewards they're now smashing girls in their 20s and 30s their girls in their 20s and 30s do find guys older guys attractive and they hate this they just they want to shame it i've been on dates with some of these women they get mad about it they i don't understand it's not fair blah blah, blah. tough shit <clears throat> that is just reality just like just like it wasn't fair ma'am when you were you know 22 and it were could have any man you wanted to and you decide not to secure commitment and now you are reaping what you sow. Let's continue. She is 35. She's an entrepreneur and adult content creator. Here's another one of these gentlemen. So here she goes about me. Here is both myself and my alter ego. Yep. 
So yeah, basically what she so and she even says who will you get? So she's basically I'm advertising my OnlyFans and my so she doesn't actually have her OnlyFans here, but advertising her sex trade stuff, and then or do you want to date, ma'am? This is a dating site. If you want to advertise your stupid OnlyFans or whatever you're doing on your own time, get it off here. We don't care. And now I'm going to roast you. Here you go. Congratulations. She says, demisexual. And if you don't think that's a thing, you're not my type. Anyway. Oh my God. Who the hell cares? Great, man shaming. What a good way to start. I'm going to advertise my business and then shame you god you can't you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up god what a lovely woman also she was a big girl i just didn't put her dumb picture but she's a course of that's a huge bitch great all right continues if your first message is to me is going to be what are you looking for please don't bother because i'm looking for someone who can impress me without knowing exactly how to do that or here's another idea this is going to be very controversial you could Shut the f up! God, another modern sassy broad who needs some life ex you know, good lord. You know, you all, the modern woman acts like she's so damn repressed. You have fun in North Korea or Afghanistan. Those women are actually undergoing true repression. Those poor women there. There's some women that I feel terrible for. They are actually under totalitarian societies with no rights and women here, she can at 35 has her sex trade thing going with and then it can shame men on the dating profile and we're trying to you, nope she's the ego the lack of self-awareness and just their shit doesn't stink oh my god just uh so unattractive okay let's continue okay this is our final one of the day and boy it's a doozy so buckle in boys here we go again she says, so she's 35 and a finance manager, self-employed business owner. Okay, so she says, the way it would be over is, okay, no, she just, she doesn't even care about the prompt. She just wants to list her shit. So here we go. I'm looking to date. Preferred, tall, dark, and handsome, ambitious, successful for life, and generally optimistic. Someone who adores me and likes dogs, traveling, and restaurants. I want a hamburger. No, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog. I want a milkshake. I want potato You'll chip. get nothing and like it. This is, this profile is so quintessential modern woman. You're, you, it's going to get even better. So yeah, here we go. So I want it all. I mean, this is literally listing it all. Tall, dark, handsome, Chad, rich Chad, six champions, ambitious and successful. So he's got to be rich. He's got to be, you know, massively in love with her. She's watched all the damn romantic comedies. <laughs> Be just totally into me. Be, be monogamous to me, Chad. Okay. Someone adores me. Yeah. Likes my fucking dogs and whatever. All your baggage and stuff. And then takes me on trip. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Yeah. Takes me out and does stuff. Okay. Now, here. Again, she's, she's finance manager, self employed, but she's not going to share her resources. No. She wants his resources and she's going to keep hers. This is the classic modern woman trope. They want chivalry when it benefits them. They don't care about it. They don't want care about tradition when it doesn't. Let's continue. Okay, now she had other pictures. It okay. So I don't generally talk about pe things people can't fix. In her face, she is a four at best. She's not very cute. Okay, it just is what it is. I don't generally talk about things people can't control, but I'm only talking about it in this particular case because of this fucking list. So now here she is, this selfie picture, you know, and she's a, a, probably a size eight or 10. So she's not super fit. She's not obese, but she's not fit. But here's now list part two, typical Sunday. Okay. Cleaning the house, poolside drinks, Sunday dinner. And then, okay, but that wasn't enough. So I need, more, I have to list more stuff. I, I'm ready to list more stuff, guys. So I'm looking for a good man, smart. Five nine or taller, stable job and career, kind, travel, able to drink wine with me, honest, sexy, and then don't ask the boring and dumb questions everybody asks. Or here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could <laughs> shut the f up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> nope. Yeah, Chad. It's Get super mega giga chad one of the best looking guys ever why have you not wifey me up i mean i'm a solid four so i deserve a 10. 
Of course you do, ma'am, because you all think this way. You will have to compete for any man who's even remotely similar to this. You, <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. That voice, you think I'm done. Oh, I'm not. So now she says, fact about me that surprises people. I'm a spontaneous young lady. Ma'am, you're 35. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Who enjoys the finer things in life and also loves being at home with that special someone. Yeah, a bottle of wine. Yes, you uh, romance me, dear Chad. A bottle of wine and charcuterie are my f fire. I would like a long-term relationship, possibly LD. I don't know what LD means. I looked this. I don't even know. A leader, funny, ambitious. Is it? You! I want a hamburger, no, a cheeseburger. I want a hot dog, I want a milkshake, I want potatoes. You'll chip. get nothing and I can. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm glad you already have the dog because. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. <laughs> oh my god, just where is. Where is Mr. Perfect? Where is everything I ever desired and I don't understand it mid, in my mid 30s? Why well, don't have it? Yeah, you're because you live in complete delusion land. L go check that chart out. A guy who is your age, who is all of these things, your list of stuff, who's just gonna, you know, get on his knee and read you poetry and all the crap you've watched and, you know, the romantic comedies and Sex in the City crap is going to date a woman who's in her 20s. I know a couple of these guys as well. They are dating women in their early 20s because why would they pick you? Now, and here's the problem. A guy who's 50, I can, you can just tell she's not saying I like older men. She doesn't want that guy. She wants a guy who's quote unquote on her level, is around the same age, who's highly attractive, even though she's a solid four. <laughs> just, Red alert. All hands to battle stations. I, I'd love to talk to this woman. <laughs> You're insane. Just these, this delusion, this is quintessential modern woman delusion that just a hypergamy to its its max gotta be on my yeah just okay nope he's not coming ma'am here to tell you anyway i will leave there for today thank you again for watching another episode of dating delusions i really do appreciate all the love and support if you did like the content please do like and subscribe get your friends to join um you know we're i know it seems crazy i'm, I'm almost at 200 subscribers we're trying to get more as quickly as possible but uh uh anyway thanks for watching have a great night Peace.